Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So I'm gonna wait for more of you to come in. This is a live video, everyone. Welcome to the tribe. We're happy to have you here. If you're new, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a great place. Um, and we discuss various topics, but mainly relationships. Uh, we also talk about, you know, celebrity news and entertainment and just women who are in trouble, including the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Portia Williams, who decided to marry this Nigerian elder by the name of Simon Gabadia, and now she has filed for divorce. The news has just come out by People Magazine that she filed for divorce on Thursday. And now I was also sent court documents um, that showed that her ex-husband here, Simon Gabadia, has filed a restraining order. I took a look at the restraining order a little deeper, and it appears to me that Simon is trying to make it seem like he is possibly, you know, a victim. Okay, you guys, we all know on this channel that Simon likes to be in trouble with people. Okay, and I think that the reason why he is filing, you guys, he is suing, okay, um, in the courts, a restraining order and stuff like that, claiming that actually it's people take trying to take his identity, his information, trying to steal from him. It's not him doing it. It's other people. And I am just wondering what is going on here. Okay, so let's take a look. This document was filed in court and um, basically, okay, so it says in, um, yeah, so it was in, in Georgia, state of Georgia, uh, Fulton County. Uh, Simon's businesses are also mentioned in there as well. Um, and uh, I, don't, I hope you guys can see it on your screen. Um, so he is claiming that an executive that he hired for his company, you know, was actually trying to go through, you know, his employee information. Like this man was trying to find out stuff on Simon Gabadia and all his employees and stuff like that. Um, his name is Mohammed Hassan. He was the vice president of KLC. KLC is one of Simon Gabadia's many businesses because this man is involved in a lot of stuff. He has Simcoal Group Inc. He has Simcoal Petroleum Limited Company. And he also has KLS, um, KLC, sorry, KLC Petroleum Transport LLC. He is claiming he has one, two, one, two, three, yeah, three businesses. And he claims that the executive vice president was trying to, you know, scheme on him. Okay. So now he is trying to act like he is a victim. And you guys, let's just be honest. This man, like, this is whatever. Okay. Let me just keep going. Um, he says that this vice president of operations, um, Mohammed Hassan, uh, conspired and colluded with other defendants to raid his company, KLC. You know, of his employees, his assets, they were trying to take Simon's assets, his employees, and confidential information to form an identical company to be a competitive business. Who would want to steal from Simon Gabadia, you guys? Um, Hassan, where are you? We would love to hear from you. Um, Simon is coming after you, claiming that you are actually scheming and trying to steal from him. Is this really true? Because it seems like you know a lot of information about Simon Gabadia and his business affairs. What is going on here? Because he is now using you, I think, in his story to make it appear that he's actually a victim of people scheming on him. When we know, obviously, in this tribe, our own perspective. Some of us here believe that Simon Gabadia is just trying to set up something. This is just like, whatever. Soon he's going to get a restraining order on uh, Portia Williams because Portia Williams is still following him on Instagram. So is her mother and her family. 
does not make sense. Why would you be following this man with the reputation he has? She claims that the reason why she divorced him has nothing to do with all the stories that have come out about him recently as well. Does not make sense, Portia. I see that you still have photos with this man, him and your child, all this kind of stuff on your Instagram, Portia. You are getting yourself in serious problems. Um, and if Simon goes down, you are going down with him as well. Um, now he's claiming that, you know, people are, you know, stealing his identity, his employee's identity. Portia, how about your information? I'm sure it was on his laptop as well. You need to protect yourself. You need to be careful as well, Portia. It's not over yet for you. Okay. It is not over yet for you. Um, Simon is, um, is going to take you down with him if you are not careful. Because I see that Portia still wants to be connected to Simon. And I think the reason why she still wants to be connected to Simon is because she's scared. She really does not want to take him down completely. She wants to disassociate herself. But at the same time, Portia, he has a lot on you too. Okay. Um, wow. She was really used, you know, you guys, she was used, she was used properly. And oh, anyway, she did it to herself. You guys, you know how these type of people, they pick, they usually target their victims, right? But Portia Williams was actually not a woman that was targeted. Simon Gabadia did not target her. He has to, he targeted his ex-wives, but he never targeted uh, Portia Williams. Okay. Portia Williams was the one that went into his DMs and pursued him. Okay. She made herself a victim. All right. His first target in America was his first wife, Karen English. And then after that, he went on to his second wife, Marsha Shackleford. Then his third wife, Fallon Pina. Then his fourth wife decided to be a fourth wife. She was a willing participant, Portia Williams. She was just a willing participant. So I think in my previous video, I said that Portia Williams was actually like a victim of a romance scam. I completely take that back, actually, you guys. After further evaluation, just recalling that, you know, Portia actually was the one that pursued this man. Um, this was voluntary on her part. She made herself a target on purpose. She wanted to be picked so bad. Okay, she wanted this man's attention. This man was not interested in her at all. And, you know, that's why she's in the situation that she's in. Okay, um, has nothing to do with him going out of his way to try to pursue her and destroy her life and all that kind of stuff. No, Portia wanted her life to be destroyed. She wanted to take the risk. Okay, all for a fairy tale ending, all for a soft life all for the chance of being with a wealthy man that was allegedly, according to him, worth $400 million. But Portia, you know this is not true because you still continue to work five, six jobs. Um, well, she did start quitting all the jobs. He started making her quit all her jobs and stuff slowly to depend on him completely. And this is how these kind of guys will um, will do this. And now Portia thinks she released herself and all that kind of stuff. But no, Portia, it's not over. If you're not careful, he's going to get a restraining order on you as well. Um, Hassan was actually a close confidant of his. And I don't, I don't believe this restraining order, you guys. No, I mean, it's real. The restraining order is a real court document. But I don't believe that Simon is a victim. I don't, I think there's more to the story. Um, and I believe that he wanted to present himself like he's actually the one that's a victim of people scheming on him when he's really the schemer in all of this. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys, I mean, who would want to copy Simon Gabadia? Who would be like, I want to copy this man's business, the way he does things. I want to go get all his information, his employees information, maybe Hassan was working with the government. Maybe Hassan, you know, is one of the good guys. You know, maybe this was part of his assignment. Maybe his assignment was to go in and see what was inside Simon's uh, laptop. You know what I mean? Because the fact that he's coming after Hassan, Hassan was a trusted vice president that decided to also stop working with his company. So maybe Hassan was just trying to, you know, do all the dirty work and stuff like that, see what he can find 
on Simon and his employees and how he's conducting this alleged businesses of his, right? So I don't know, you guys, we need to hear from Hassan. Hassan, let us know what happened. What did you find in that computer? What, what really happened here? Because Simon is coming after you. By the way, Dijon, great to see you. It's been a long time, my friend. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I apologize. I didn't see all the comments. Gloria, good to see you. Gloria Gatha says restraining order. Yes, you guys, his first, the first person he is claiming that is actually, he's the victim of that when got his personal information and his employees information, his business affairs. First of all, Simon has no employees. That's the first lie in all of this restraining order. What employees does he have? His first ex-wife, Fallon Pina, said that Simon does not even have an actual office. So the fact that he is claiming even in court documents, Simon, you know this is a lie. And now he's claiming on his, on his Instagram, he's feeding Americans, he's creating jobs, the American dream and all this kind of stuff, making himself appear like a superhero. No, Simon, please stop. I drive through my city MC. Good to see you. How are you? I'm fantastic, you guys. Oh, I'm so happy to see you guys all here. The red lipstick hustler, Lily. Hey, love. You guys, I just had to come back because I received these documents. And I'm just like, Simon is trying to make himself appear like a victim. And this is how he's going to continue to stay in the spotlight because he still wants to also have some, um, Portia Williams fans. He doesn't want to lose them. You know, he gained so many fans for, from being with Portia Williams. He doesn't want to lose them. He doesn't want his Instagram followers to go downhill. So he wants to appear like a victim, like he was just a victim of people scheming on him. He's just an innocent businessman doing his business. And it's like, no, no, I need to hear what Hassan has to say, you guys. I really do. I really, really do. Uh, by the way, a drive through my city MC says, the report says the cause of divorce was an uh, ongoing matter. You guys, what is this all about too? Yeah, with the divorce, um, I was trying to see if people or TMZ put it all out. Uh, drive through my city, did you see the document? If so, can you send it to me on Instagram? Please, love. Uh, drive through my city says we've been new. Yeah, we did. You guys, we knew this whole tribe. All of you guys all knew. We all knew. We all knew that this this was going to end in tears for Portia, but she was so desperate. Oh, my goodness. Equal Love says, hello. Hi, Equal Love. Dijon, hi. Good to see you. You guys, I'm so sorry. I am behind, behind, behind. You investigated Simon and warned Portia. Yes, you guys. I've been warning her uh, two years ago. I want you guys to check out the video description as well for my playlist. If you are new here, I have over 150 videos on Portia Williams and Simon Gabadia. Oh, and her fans were like, you're so obsessed. Oh my God. You are so obsessed with Portia and Simon. You're so obsessed. You're so jealous. You guys, why would I be jealous of this? You know, I'm taken, I'm happy in my life. Why would I be jealous of this? Why would I want to be in this type of situation? Why would I want to be with somebody who is so dangerous, someone who can't be trusted? Why would I want, I'm not a mother, but if I did have a child, why would I want my child around somebody like this in the first place? This is not responsible, okay? Charmaine says, is it possible this divorce is another scheme to protect Simon's alleged assets? You guys, I, I've, I was thinking this, Charmaine, thank you for bringing this up. I was thinking the same thing, that Portia Williams, because I see her still following him, the pictures are still all up there. You know what I mean? She still wants to have this man be part of her life. I believe that Portia knows what he's doing. She is doing this just for her own safety, just to protect herself and her daughter. But she will continue to deal with Simon Gabadia because I think she's in too deep. Okay. I don't trust Portia Williams either. And Portia, it's not going to end well for you. Uh, a drive through my city MC says Portia was desperate to be married. Yep. To a so-called rich Nigerian man. Yep. She thought he was a prince and a king. I agree. Yep. I agree. I agree. By the way, Timbisa, sorry, Tim, Timbisa, good to see you. Timbisa says, Michelle said, Michelle said, 
she now has to apologize to you and Tisa. You guys, oh my God, <laughs> it was a lot. I had to stop talking about Portia on my channel and Simon because I was receiving so many messages from Portia Williams fans that fell in love with their wedding, that fell in love with their relationship. They were loving the fact that Portia was helping Simon look so good. And they were like, you're so jealous. Um, you, you know, you're so jealous. And what, what else did they say? I'm obsessed with them and stuff like this, just because I talked about them. Um, you guys, it was interesting to talk about this because I knew this relationship was not going to work out, you know, and only, you know, my subscribers believed me. So it was okay because at least I had a tribe of people who believed my perspective. But a lot of women, actually, to be honest with you, they were like wanting a guy like Simon. They were even writing stuff like that. Like, oh, I want someone like Simon. Like they were even writing comments to Simon, like under his Instagram, like, Simon, do you have a brother? Do you have a cousin? I want to marry a Nigerian man, la, 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 all this kind of stuff. You know, Portia Williams, you did real good. You're winning, Portia. Don't listen to the haters. Also, some of these women were also tagging me and being like, oh, you won't believe what Sunday Omni is. The video she's making about you guys, you won't even believe it. It's so awful. And I'm just like, oh, geez. Now we're our Portia Williams fans. You guys, ever since today's news and I did my videos, I have not received any messages from Portia Williams fans. None. None. No, none of them are bothering me at all. None. They are completely quiet. It's crickets. Where are the Portia fans? Where are they? They are completely quiet. And these are women, you guys, grown women who are actually okay with her having an affair with a married man. You know, they were saying stuff like, it doesn't matter anymore. It just, it, what matters is that they're happy. Um, they were also trying to put Fallon like, as like, oh, she has so many baby daddies. Kind of like to say like, she deserved it because she has so many men in her life. So she deserved it. Um, and because Portia is like a star and all this kind of stuff, a big star, they were just kind of feeling like, well, whatever. She she won because she's better. You know, Portia is so much better. And it's like, nope, her life is going to go downhill, you guys. This is just the beginning. Attaching yourself to people like this is very dangerous. Uh, Charmaine says Portia will do anything to live lavishly. Yep. And compete with her best friend. Yes, Shamia. You guys, she's been wanting her best friend's life for a long time. And this is the thing, um, if Shamia's husband was not a loyal family man and all that kind of stuff and a man that's not easily swayed, Portia Williams would have pulled the same thing as she did on Fallon Pina. But it's just never worked. Never worked. Never worked. That's why a man with self-discipline and self-control always wins. Always wins. Like if you are a man that has self-discipline and you can control your emotions, you win. You're not going to be easily seduced by anybody. Okay. Wow. 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 Anyway, Hooten, good to see you. Hooten says, hello, the red lipstick hustler, Lily. It's good to see you. Yes, it is good to see her. Um, ladies, it is not looking good. Hooten says, hey, everyone. Hi. <laughs> By the way, D. John says, I have a suspicion that she knew about this, yep, about his background from day one and just went along, yep, with this for a storyline and status, 100% agree. You guys, and this is a gentleman in our tribe that's saying this, that he believes that Portia knew about this. I think that she did because Portia has a background of also dealing with, you know, rich Nigerians in Atlanta, including Simon Gabadia's cousin allegedly for the Rolls Royce and all that kind of stuff. She mingles anybody that can give her a good lifestyle. She will do whatever it takes. That's what I heard. Okay. Like look at what happened with her and how she got involved with Simon in the first place. Instead of her consoling, um, you know, his, uh, his, uh, like wife at the time, Fallon Pina, she decided to go into his DMs. She's an opportunist as well. She was scheming as well. Okay. Her own colleague. They're about to go for counseling and all that kind of stuff. They never had the opportunity because Portia Williams was interfering. She's a saboteur. 
she went to this woman's house, took his, took her clothes from her closet, wore her clothing. She wanted to be like this woman so bad, so bad. She wanted this woman's lifestyle. That's my problem with uh, with Portia. She got into the relationship in a dirty way and Dirty Simon dealt with her. And by the way, the reason why I call him Dirty Simon is because there is a Netflix series called Dirty John. I do recommend you guys check out Dirty John. Then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Portia Williams was a voluntary, like she volunteered. Like what I'm just trying to say is she was a voluntary like participant. Um, she got involved in all of this. She knew that this man, in my opinion, was fake, living a double life. He doesn't go anywhere, you guys. All he does is stay home around the house and he drives luxury cars everywhere. Okay, everything he puts under his business. Lots of sketchy, sketchy stuff. He also hangs out at the club all the time. That's all he does. You know, that's all he does. He was seen there by Jalen Banks, even during the relationship. Very, very peculiar, peculiar things that this man has done. A lot of people don't even know how he acquired his wealth. They don't even know. And I had people coming to me, he's a professional businessman, leave him alone. But the Nigerians were telling me, we don't know who this man is. Why do you keep saying this man is a millionaire and we never even heard about him? In Nigeria, nobody knows him. What are you talking about? You guys, the Nigerians came forward and they were like, what are you talking about? We don't know him. We do not know him over here. Wow. Wow. But one thing they have said is they believe that this man is, a, he's been scheming, scheming, scheming. The Nigerians have told me everything I need to know. And they also told me that Portia Williams was just so naive, um, going along with everything. And yeah, Nigerian women told me everything I needed to know. So Portia, this is your tape. We have tried to warn you in our tribe. We've tried to tell you, but you were so obsessed with this man's culture you were so obsessed with trying to be his wife. You thought you were going to be his first lady. You thought you married a Nigerian prince. But your life is in trouble because Simon has your information. He has your birth certificate, your driver's license information, your social security, all this, all this stuff Simon has. So you be very careful what you say about Simon publicly. Be very careful. Okay, be very careful because he has powerful friends, powerful connections. He's part of a big organization, allegedly. So you yourself need to be very careful. And I see that you're trying to be careful the way you, you know, divorce Simon because you still have up pictures of Simon, all that kind of stuff on your page. You're still following Simon. Simon is still calling himself a husband, a philanthropist a father, a golfer, a CEO on his Instagram. Because Portia is trying to leave this man very, very delicately. She's trying real hard to just leave this man softly and everything like that. Like, come on, if you divorce, you guys, if somebody is breaking up with someone, divorce someone, you remove all the pictures. You remove all those things especially a woman that's been hurt. And she says, uh, allegedly in the divorce paper, she says that she's no longer going to be with this guy at all and everything like that. Like it can't be repaired. Then you would be removing all those images. You won't even be happy to go on your Instagram and to see all those pictures and stuff of you and him. You will remove everything. But the fact that Portia Williams is still following Simon, she still has up all those pictures and all that kind of stuff tells me that either this woman is playing games or she's scared. So she doesn't want to hurt his feelings because he's also acting unbothered. Simon is acting like he doesn't even care. Yeah, he, he doesn't even, he acts like unbothered, like kind of like, oh, well. You know, I know what we're doing. I know what me and Portia are doing. I know what we're up to. Like, it's kind of like a plan. You know, like, oh, Portia's just following through. We're, we're just doing this to protect my company. Because now, as you can see, what I shared with you, 
um, Portia has been protecting this man's reputation for a long time. He's been using her as like a guinea pig. She's such a tool. She is such a tool. It is so sad, you guys. So sad because I believe that this has a lot of this divorce has something to do with the fact that Hassan has taken things from the business, found out stuff about the business, all that kind of stuff. And Portia Williams cannot go down with all of that. He's also being sued by the realtor that I told you guys about as well. Okay, there's just a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Portia, you got yourself in trouble. And I'm sorry, a lot of us just don't feel sorry for you. Um, but we will be telling your story. Okay, we will be telling your story. Um, you have played a huge role in hurting people along the way. It, you play dirty yourself. Okay, you did this to yourself. So because of that, you know, you are so proud to even say you were wife number four. You guys remember um, on her reality show or whatever that she had with Simon, she was giving this guy a job. Like what? She was giving him a job. Remember on her show, giving him a job opportunities and stuff like that. Like what? Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. By the way, Hooten says I'm late. Did y'all see Simon posted good old USA 42 years. Yep. Living in America. It's like he's making a mockery. Yep. You guys, he is. He is. And the reason why he won't get citizenship in the United States is because um, allegedly, according to the courts, the way he obtained, you know, tried to obtain his citizenship and his visa and stuff was not right. Portia, you know all of this. You really do. A drive through my city MC says, I don't want anything like Simon. Yeah, gold digger. You guys, this is dangerous. You get involved with someone like this. That's why some of you ladies that are getting involved with men just because you think that that guy has all this money and stuff. A guy that has all this money and he's sitting around the house following you around everywhere. You're getting him a job. This is weird. This is weird. And then he's always on the laptop late at night and all this kind of stuff. Very bizarre when, when Portia Williams is sleeping. Just kind of just bizarre. Okay. <laughs> By the way, D. John says he had a mili um he had on a military. Yep, you guys, that whole nutcracker outfit that he was wearing at the wedding. Yep, that is true. D. John, you are right. Portia was trying to make this man appear like he's some sort of prince, a king, and all that kind of stuff. I just did not get it, you guys. Let's pull that up for a second. Let's pull that up. Let's pull that up. Let me pull that up for you guys. It's just like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Like, it's just, mm, wow. It's just, <laughs> it's like, wow. Portia, you did it to yourself, so it's hard to feel bad for you, okay? I don't feel bad for Portia, you guys, because we already discussed this three years ago on this channel. She wanted this. This is what she always dreamed of. Yep, D. John, this is what you speak of, sir. Look at her trying to make this man seem so important. Portia is the one behind all these outfits, trying to make themselves seem like, you know, they are, oh, by the way, because so many women were so like, oh, my God, I want to marry a Nigerian. Oh, Nigerian guys. Oh, my God. They were so in love with the Nigerian wedding. So because of they saw all this, to them, this was love just because they saw a big wedding. You guys, just because you have a big wedding and all this kind of stuff, you spend all this money does not mean that that person loves you so much. It confirms love. It doesn't mean that. It does not mean that at all. Okay. But a lot of women were just like, oh, her, all her fans were like, yes. Oh my God. She had an African wedding. She had all these gowns. She wore all these different outfits, like seven outfits, all this kind of stuff. Portia paid for this wedding. Okay, this is this is a wedding sponsored by yours truly, Portia Peach Juice Williams. She also puts a spread out on People Magazine um, because people are friends with her. You, she highlighted this man, gave this man fans. Okay, she gave this man status. She gave this man all this popularity, Instagram followers got him verified. This man used her status, her stardom that she worked hard to get on her own to benefit himself. He used her properly. 
He used her properly. Wow. And it's not even over. Portia, you are going down. This is what I'm saying. You will be under investigation. Um, you will be under investigation. We believe you know a lot. Okay? We really do. <laughs> Drive through my city MC says Mr. Simon Goldigger. You guys, yes, well said. He is. He is. Portia paid for her own wedding, you guys. It's so obvious. So obvious. She's the one that made sure these custom-made outfits were were given to him. This man was never in the military. This man is not a sergeant. Okay? He's not a lieutenant of any kind. All this man does is stay home. He's a stay-at-home husband. That's all he did. And I tried to tell you guys this. Okay? Portia was working five to seven jobs while being married to a man worth $400 million? If you're married to a man worth $400 million, why would you have like six jobs? It does not add up. It does not add up at all. Okay? Does not add up at all. Um, and you're paying for your own wedding. Oh, my goodness. Just tragic. Just tragic, tragic ending. And Portia, we, I can see that you're trying so hard to be in good terms with Simon because you don't want Simon to, you know, turn on you. I think that's why she's so scared. She won't take down the pictures. She won't take down the pictures, you guys. She's still following him because she's so scared. Like, oh, geez. <laughs> this guy is going to put out my information. This guy is going to get his friends after me and all that kind of stuff. Yep. You know, don't, first of all, don't mess around with these, with these type of men. You don't do that. And you can't cross him either. And that's another thing to you guys. I do say a lot like, oh, you know, Simon is a, you know, like we know he's a senior and everything like that. But um, this is not a man to mess around with. Don't think that just because a man is an elder and a senior and all that kind of stuff that he's not smart at what he's doing. This man has been scheming since he entered America. Okay, he's been doing this with wife number one, two, three, four, and he's gonna get a fifth wife. Just wait, wait and see. Okay, so just wait and see. You'll see for yourself. You will see for yourself. Um, it, it's not good, not good at all. Okay, not good at all. Um, let's see here. Um, the temperature is going up. Yeah, it's going up real fast, sis, real fast. I don't want you guys to count people out. Don't count someone who is a senior or an elder out. A lot of them have a lot of experience, especially if a man has been doing this since he was a young man. Don't count them out. Some girls honestly think that men who are seniors and elders, you can just easily take advantage of them and stuff like this. Um, you guys, don't count him out. Don't count someone out just because you think they're old, they're an elder, they can't do anything to you, you're smarter than them, you know, you can take advantage of them and all that kind of stuff. Just because, you know, he has an early bedtime and all that kind of stuff. You guys, he's not a weak man. Everything is all in his brain. He has been scheming for a long time. Okay, very, very long time. Portia wanted to live the soft life. Okay, that was her goal. She wanted to be a Nigerian bride. He also was like, oh, I'm going to name you, you know, give you a Nigerian name. He also gave her a Nigerian name. She felt very special. Remember, you guys, he started name, give, taking away her American name or whatever, first name or whatever, giving her Nigerian identity, all that kind of stuff. So she felt like this was really important. This man knew exactly what he was doing. He was not interested in this. He gets involved with, Af sorry, um, American women on purpose because American women are the perfect target for guys like this too. Very good target. Um, very, very good target. They love to target widows, uh, single moms, women with low self-esteem, um, divorcees. Older women, women desperate for love, okay? And Portia was just the best target. Um, so that's why I'm saying, you guys, don't think that just because Simon is an elder in his 60s and stuff, 
that he is a man that can't do anything. Because some of you guys started looking at him like, no, he's harmless. He's a sweetheart. He's so great. Because Portia Williams was posting all these fake pictures, looking all happy and stuff like that, dressing him up, making him look professional. She was working overtime trying to repair this man's image and his reputation. He got new teeth. She got him new teeth. She got him to lose weight. Oh, yeah, you guys. Oh, my goodness. The amount of work that this woman put on this man, if she could put that work on herself, bettering herself, like, Portia, you should be upgraded by now from reality TV to something greater. We want to see you in a movie. We want to see you acting somewhere, doing something. Grow, Portia. Grow in your career. You keep going back to the same thing over and over. How are you evolving as a woman? We still see you doing the same thing over and over. You know, you claim you're good friends with um, with uh, Nene Leakes, but Nene Leakes was suing the same company you're working for. Personally, I don't think that Nene Leakes is that happy with Portia Williams because if your friend claims that they experience all this kind of stuff, working at your company and all that kind of stuff, you still keep working with that company. That means that you don't really stand with your friend. Portia is not loyal, you guys, is what I'm trying to say. She is not loyal. She's not sincere. Um, oh, my goodness. Anyway, where are her fans? Her fans have been so quiet since I started doing my videos today. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> where are you guys? Where are you guys? Where are you guys today? We tried to tell you guys that Portia Williams was in trouble but you guys were so obsessed with the fantasy. A lot of Portia Williams fans, you guys, tells me that a lot of her fans could have also been um, involved in these kind of situations too, because a lot of them are very naive. They want so bad to have a fairy tale, like wedding, fairy tale lifestyle, all that kind of stuff. And now they're just quiet. They're in shock because they're a hero, you know. Um, you know, they're a hero, Portia Williams, life, was not the like they were living their lives vicariously through Portia Williams is what I'm trying to say. Even Nene Leakes women fans were also coming for me too. And I told them her relationship with uh, Yanni Seal was was just it was a whole romance scam. She's a widow, okay? This man was also taking advantage of her because she has money. Simon was trying to fix his reputation through Portia Williams because of her family legacy, okay? They're African-Americans. Her grandfather was an African-American man who played a huge impact in history as well, uh, American history and being involved in like civil rights stuff. He wanted to attach himself to all of that because he thought that it would help him look like a, you know, an honest man and then he can persuade like the American government to give him citizenship. Oh, you guys, I never believed it. Nene Leakes is also heartbroken now, claiming that this man used her and all that kind of stuff. Yoni Seal, this man was a married man. Both these ladies were dealing with married African men. And when I started trying to tell you guys this, a lot of you were saying I'm jealous because they married African-American women. You guys, no, absolutely not. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here and for listening to another view. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram and on Facebook at Sunday Omni. Until our next conversation, cheers.